Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see a general feedback structure and let us look at the negative feedback and derive the gain of the negative feedback amplifier. What is feedback? Feedback is a process of providing a fraction of output signal back to the input, it is known as feedback. Means we will be having an output of an amplifier, we are going to give the part of that as an input for the amplifier again then it will be called as a feedback signal. In feedback we have two types, one is positive feedback, another one is negative feedback. What do you mean by positive feedback? If you see here, this is the amplifier, with this parallelly we have connected a feedback network and this is the input signal we are giving that is V in and here we are going to get a V naught that is output. The output will be taken and we are giving it as an input to the feedback network and this feedback network is going to give an output. If this output, we call it as VF is the output of feedback network. If this VF is in same phase with V in, means it will be looking as it is the input signal, means there is no difference in the phases of these two. Then we call it as a positive feedback. You can see here VF is in phase with V in. So we are calling it as a positive feedback network. You can look at the negative feedback now. Here again we are giving an V in, the same kind of input signal and we are going to get the output of the amplifier. We are giving that as part of input to the feedback network and you can see here VF, it is out of phase means 180 degree phase shifted with respect to the input signal. So if you compare this input signal and the feedback signal, it is 180 degree phase shift means we call it as a feedback signal is 180 degree out of phase with V in then we are calling it as negative feedback. So positive feedback is that feedback signal and input signal are in phase and we are going to use that positive feedback in design of oscillators. Negative feedback is that where feedback signal and the input signal are out of phase like here it is 180 degree phase shifted. So this kind of negative feedback is used in amplifier designs. Now let us look at how actually the effect of negative feedback to the gain of the amplifier when we are going to connect a feedback network like this. So this is the general structure of a feedback network. Here we have a voltage source. This is the voltage source. So this is our amplifier circuit and here we are going to get the output X0 and that will be given as input to the feedback network. This is our feedback network and we are going to get the output of the feedback that is xf and input to the amplifier is xi this xi is going to be obtained from the source voltage minus xf why it is minus here means it is negative feedback if we are giving it as minus this will be xf will be subtracted from xs so we call it as it is a negative feedback network so let us derive the expression for gain and let us see what is the effect of this negative feedback. So first let us write an amplifier gain. The amplifier gain as we know it is suppose let me take it as A it is output X0 so output X0 divided by the input of the amplifier that is Xi. So X0 divided by Xi is the amplifier gain. So if I consider the feedback network work let me call it as overall gain otherwise we can call it as closed loop gain this is open loop gain this is open loop why because there is no feedback here it is closed loop gain why because it is overall I am taking by considering the feedback now let me call this as G overall gain G it is again the output X naught means X naught divided by this input I am considering XS so this is overall gain this input uh, we are giving, this output we are taking, in between we will be having a feedback. So this G is overall gain and A is amplifier gain. So here we can write it as what is X0 now with respect to the amplifier gain? X0 is equal to open loop gain A into Xi. Similarly here what is X0? X0 will be equal to overall gain G into Xs. This is the supply voltage and here if you look at the input of the amplifier that is xi what is the expression for xi then xi will be equal to xs 
that is the source voltage minus xf why i am taking minus here here we are using a summer where this xf is out of phase with respect to xs we are marking it as minus so we need to subtract this this is xi now xi will be equal to xs minus what is xf here what is this xf we need to consider this xf as this parameter beta with respect to parameter beta so what is beta here beta is a feedback factor we call it as a feedback factor this beta is a gain of the feedback network we can say so beta is equal to output xf divided by input for that is x naught so beta is equal to xf by x naught so xf will be equal to beta into x naught so here xf will be replaced by beta into x naught this is my xi now so here if we rearrange this we can write the expression for the source voltage that is xs it is xi plus beta into x naught this is the source voltage what we are applying now let me take this expression again so the overall gain that is g is equal to x naught divided by xs right here i know that this x naught can be written as a into xi and now i have derived the expression for this x xs so it is xi plus beta into x naught right again we have x naught here what is x naught so it is a into xi divided by xi plus beta into again x naught can be written as a into xi so in the numerator also we have xi in the denominator also we have xi we can cancel it out it becomes a divided by here this xi and xi get cancelled 1 plus this xi and numerator xi get cancelled becomes beta into a so this is overall gain g this overall gain can be represented as af that is the gain with feedback this is the gain of the amplifier with the feedback network that is fb so that is af i am just writing it as g now if you look at this expression this is the overall gain with considering the negative feedback so what is the effect of this so here what is af overall gain what is a open loop gain what is b this is feedback factor again a is open loop gain here if you look at af it is it will be always smaller than a right this is the open loop gain divided by 1 plus beta into a means with a we will be having 1 plus beta term so denominator is more compared to the numerator so this value overall value will be lesser compared to a so af will be less than a so we can say because of the negative feedback we have connected the overall gain reduces the gain reduces if we connect a negative feedback but there are numerous advantages there are numerous advantages for negative feedback so let us see the advantages of negative feedback in the next video this is about the derivation of overall gain or gain with negative feedback for an amplifier circuit thank you